In this module, we're going to discuss lamb, one of the earliest domesticated animals for meat production. In this module, the course objectives will be identify the primal, subprimal, and fabricated cuts of lamb, describe and perform basic butchering procedures, purchase lamb appropriate for your needs, explain appropriate cooking methods of different cuts of lamb, and apply appropriate cooking methods to several common cuts of lamb. Lamb is the meat of sheep slaughtered when they are less than a year old. Both the meat and the animal, whether male or female, are referred to as lamb. Lamb is quite tender and can be prepared by almost any cooking method, as we'll see. Lamb's pronounced flavor leads itself to pairing with garlic and or resinous herbs such as rosemary. Acid in the preparation balances the fattiness of the lamb. Sometimes the fat of the lamb can be referred to often as gamey. Sweetness or dried fruits and root vegetables complements lamb's fattiness as well. Lamb primal cuts are cross-section or cross-cut sections and contain both bilateral halves or both halves connected. For example, the primal leg contains both legs connected by the backbone. Lamb primals are not classified into forequarters and hindquarters like beef or a foresaddle and hindsaddle like veal. After the young sheep is slaughtered, it is usually reduced to the five primal cuts shoulder, beef, rack, loin, and leg. Like some veal primals, lamb primals are cross-cut sections and contain both bilateral halves. An example would be the primal leg containing both hind legs. Lamb shoulder is a relatively large cut accounting for 36% of the carcass weight. The lamb shoulder contains the first four rib bones and the arm, blade, and neck bones as well as many small tough muscles whose grains travel in different directions. All these bones and muscle groups make it nearly impossible to cook and carve a whole lamb shoulder. Although lamb shoulder may be cut into chops or boned and then roasted or braised with or without the stuffing, it is more commonly diced or stewed for stew or ground for patties. The primal lamb breast contains the lamb breast and the lamb foreshank portions of the carcass. Together they amount for approximately 17% of the carcass weight and contain the rib, breast, and shank bones. The primal lamb breast is located beneath the primal shoulder and rack and contains the rib tips, which are cut off to produce the rack. When separated from the rest of the breast, these small ribs are called Denver ribs and can be substituted for pork ribs when desired. Although the breast is not used extensively in food service operations, it can be stuffed and braised, either bone in or boneless. Lamb foreshanks are quite meaty and may be braised and served as an entree used for broths or for ground meats. The primal rib section of lamb rack is also known as the hotel rack. It is located between the primal shoulder and loin, containing eight bilateral ribs, ribs 5 through 12, and portions of the backbone. It accounts for approximately 8% of the overall carcass weight. The lamb rack is valued for its tender ribeye muscle. The hotel rack is usually split in half and trimmed before cooking so that, that each set of ribs can be easily cut into chops. The, rack, the split racks can then be grilled, broiled, or roasted as racks or cut into single or double rib chops before cooking. Often the bones of the racks or individual chops are trimmed of excess fat in a technique called Frenching. The lamb loin is located between the primal rib and the leg. It contains rib number 13 and portions of the backbone as well as the loin eye muscle tenderloin, and flank. It accounts for approximately 13% of the carcass weight. Except for the flank, lamb loin meat is very tender and is invariably cooked using a dry heat cooking method such as grilling or roasting. The loin may be boned in, 
boned to produce boneless roasts or chops or cut into chops with bone in. The loin eye may be removed and cut into lamb medallions or noisettes, which may be prepared in a similar manner as filet mignon and tenderloin of beef. The primal lamb leg is a large section accounting for approximately 34% of the carcass weight. It is the posterior portion of the carcass separated from the loin by a straight cut anterior of the hip bone. The primal includes both of the animal's hind legs combined. As with veal, the cut of meat that would be the sirloin on the beef carcass is separated from the lamb loin by, the, by this cut and becomes part of the primal leg. The lamb leg contains several bones, the backbone, tailbone, H bone, hip bone, round bone, and shank bones. The primal leg of lamb is rarely used as is. More often it's split into two legs and partially or fully boned. Lamb legs are quite tender, the sirloin end more, than, more so than the shank end, and are well suited to a variety of cooking methods. A bone-in leg of lamb is often roasted for buffet service or braised with vegetables or beans for a hearty dish. Lamb steaks can also be cut from the bone, the bone-in leg, with the sirloin end producing the most tender cuts. A boneless leg can be tied and roasted with or without stuffing or trimmed and cut into scallops. The shank end can be cut crosswise into sections containing a portion of the bone with its marrow and the muscles alongside the bone. Lamb shanks may be cut from the foreleg or the larger meteor hind leg. Because they are relatively lean, lamb shanks are best prepared using moist heat such as braising. The shank meat can also be removed from the bone and diced for stew or ground for patties. Australia and New Zealand account for approximately 50% of all lamb sold in the United States. Domestic lamb is primarily grain-fed and has a milder flavor than grass-fed imported lamb. Domestic lamb is raised to about 135 pounds, which is larger than their imported lamb counterparts, resulting in larger cut sizes, as you can see from the side on the right. Cooking times may take twice as long for domestic rack of lamb as when cooking imports but due to their size. Lamb is the meat of sheep younger than one year old. It's preferred over mutton in the United States. It's pink to pale red colored meat and it's tender and mild in flavor and it's often grilled, braised, or roasted. In comparison, mutton is meat from sheep one to three years old and it's more popular in the Middle East and in Europe. It has a deep red colored meat with lots of fat and has a strong flavor much like game meat. And this is best for slow cooking methods such as braising. Lamb is very closely related to goats. Most goats are bred for milk and cheese production. Goats are consumed in 75% of the world. And goats may be roasted whole or split or stewed. A couple of the main reasons that you can see from this chart and how to ident easily identify a goat from a lamb is that the lambs or the sheep have a tail that turns down, whereas goats have a tail that turn up. That's a very quick identifier. But lamb is young sheep and is the main source of protein in a lot of different company and countries. Lambs graze on pasture until weaned, and then uh, they will consume the grain on feedlots as well. But goats, however, are one of the earliest known domesticated animals. Types of goats and their uses in the industry, there are dairy goats raised for milk, Spanish and South African goats raised for their meat, Angora goats are raised for their wool uh, and have uh, to make cloths with. Uh, there's also uh, Angora goats are the famous goats that you would hear from Kashmir. Meat from goats is inspected and considered red meat, however, and unlike the lamb meat. Meat from female goats is more tender and is preferred for steak and chops. In the southeast United States, demand for meat from goats has increased due to the influx of ethnic groups. All meat from sheep is inspected for the wholesomeness, but quality grading is still voluntary at this time. Lamb is an economical source of high-quality protein. 
Lamb meat is lean and lower in cholesterol than other red meats. It contains roughly 258 calories in a 4-ounce serving, consisting of 8.8 .8 grams of fat. The omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is 3.5 to 1, which means it's much higher in omega-6, which is good for you. It has a better quality of protein. Lamb meat is tender and easily digestible as well. Lamb is a good source of iron as compared with chicken, fish, or poultry. And lamb has less marbling than other red meats, so less marbling, less fat. More than 65% of fine dining restaurants menu lamb, and Rack of Lamb is the most common lamb cut menu. Rack of Lamb makes for an elegant plate presentation. A standard Rack of Lamb or rib roast has eight rib chops. Chefs may request that their suppliers provide racks Frenched to specifications, or they may French the racks in-house. Frenching is the removal of at least one and a half inches of meat from the bone ends of a rib roast or chops. An American rack of lamb is noted for its larger ribeyes as well as its rich distinctive flavor and tenderness. The following are steps to Frenching a rack of American lamb. First, holding underneath the blade end, peel off the fat cap. Keep in mind that the lean meat and some fat removed while Frenching may be used for grinding. If necessary, remove any feather bones and or thin yellow elastin strand, taking caution not to damage the ribeye meat. Next, using a sharp boning knife, cut across rib bones on the fat side at the desired point for Frenching. This could range from 1.5 inches from bone ends to just above the ribeye meat. Also, cut down in between each rib bone. Make same cut across the inside of rib bones again, making sure to cut between each rib bone. Now run tip of knife along the center of each rib bone, peeling away the layer of membrane to each side. Remove the fat and meat from around the bones by pushing the meat away from the rib bones with your thumb. Edges of the bones may be sharp, so take care not to cut your fingers on tips of the rib bones. As a final step, scrape away any fine pieces of meat or fat using the knife tip and back edge of a knife. Trim excess fat from rib roast as desired. As an option, rib bones may also be Frenched using butcher's twine. Simply cut between each bone and loop the butcher's twine around the bone near the base. Pull back hard so the twine runs along the rib bone and removes any excess meat. Some of our key takeaways for this module are lamb is the meat of sheep slaughtered when they are less than one year old. Lamb's pronounced flavor lends itself to pairing with garlic or resinous herbs. 
acid in the preparation balances fattiness. Sweetness of dried fruits and root vegetables complements the lamb's fattiness as well. Australia and New Zealand account for 50% of lamb sold in the United States. Sheep and goats are some of the earliest domesticated animals. And the rack of lamb is the most common cut served in restaurants.